everybody, this is Crystal. Today I'm going to show you how to make this simple cowl here. It doesn't really take much time at all. Um, that button there is actually, it holds the piece together. It is sewn on. So this cowl won't come undone. It, you just slip it on over your head. Um, so it doesn't um, lose its shape or anything. So you don't have to worry about that. But it's actually pretty easy. So let's go ahead and get started on it. Okay, for this project, I'm using a Lion Brand Amazing Yarn. It's a really, really pretty yarn. It is a, it's an acrylic wool blend. So, it's a little fuzzy because of the wool. But it's really nice. It's just a medium four-ply. Now, you don't have to use this yarn. Any type of four-ply yarn will work. Um, the color I'm using is called Strawberry Fields. And there are 147 yards per skein. And you're going to need two skeins to get through this cowl and then the button I use is just a regular wooden button and it's a two inch wooden button of course you don't have to use one that big or you can use one bigger that's that's up to you but that's the size I used I got my button at Walmart in the button aisle and then I'm going to be using a size J which is a six millimeter crochet hook now this is super easy be good for a beginner for a beginner that's starting to do work on intermediate, I guess. Um, now this stitch is made in a multiple of three plus two, in case you want to use this stitch for something else, or you want to make your cow bigger or smaller. But if you want to follow me, I started out with a chain of 32. And once you get your chain of 32 made, you want to do a slip or a, one single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. And remember, we don't count the one that's on the hook. So one, two, and single crochet. And then one single crochet in every stitch for the length of the chain. Just like this. And when you get to the end, you should have a total of 31 single crochets. Okay, when you make it to the end of row one and you have 31 stitches, what we're going to do is chain three and turn our work. And that chain three is going to count as a double crochet. Now what we're going to do is we're going to skip two stitches. Now we don't count this st stitch right here. We skip these two. So skip, skip, and we work it in the next one. And what we're going to do in the next one is a double uh, crochet cluster V stitch. Now, it seems hard but it's not. So we're going to yarn over and go into that stitch and we're going to draw up a loop and we're going to yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook. And then we're going to do that again. We're going to yarn over, go into the same stitch, drop a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook. And that will leave three loops on our hook just yarn over and go through all three loops. And then we're going to do that same thing again. We're going to chain two and we're going to do that same thing in the same stitch. So we're going to yarn over, go in, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops on our hook. Then we're going to yarn over again, go into the same stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops and we'll have three that remains, yarn over and go through all three. And that is a double crochet cluster V stitch. It's actually really easy. So and then we're going to skip two stitches, skip, skip, and we're going to work this again. So, so skip your two stitches, yarn over and go into the next one, and drop a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops on your hook. Yarn over, go into the same stitch, drop a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops on your hook, and then you yarn over and go through the remaining three loops, chain two, one, two, and we're going to do this again in the same stitch. So we're going to yarn over, go into that same stitch, drop a loop, yarn over, go through the first two loops, Yarn over, go into the same stitch again, drop a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops, 
and then yarn over and go through all three loops. And now you have your next cluster V. And we're just going to repeat this all the way down to the end of the row. So we're going to skip two again, skip, skip, and work our cluster V stitch into the next. So we're going to yarn over, go into that stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops on your hook, yarn over again, same stitch, draw up a loop, first two loops on your hook, yarn over and go through all three. Chain two, now we're going to cluster again in the same stitch, yarn over, go in, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over, go into the same stitch again, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, and yarn over and go through the remaining three. So now you have three clusters. So it's really easy once you get the hang of it. Again, we'll skip two stitches, skip, skip, and work our cluster V into the next. And then you chain two and do it again. Just like that. Skip two, skip, skip. Do it again. Cluster V. Chain two, go in it again. Just like that. So I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to skip two and cluster V in the next all the way to the end of my row. Okay, I'm coming to the end of row two. And I did my cluster V and I have three stitches left. What I want to do is skip two and then put one double crochet into the last stitch. Sorry, my hands are a little shaky. I drank too much coffee, I think. There we go. So now you should have nine cluster V stitches and then one double crochet on each end. And this is pretty much all it is. So now row three is going to be the repeat row. For the rest of the cowl. So what you're going to do on row three, we're going to chain three, turn our work, that counts as our first double crochet, and now we're going to work a cluster V stitch in every one of these chain two spaces to the end of the row. So we're going to yarn over, go in, drop a loop, go through the first two, yarn over, go into that space, drop a loop, Go into the first two, three remain, yarn over and go through all three. Then I'm going to chain two, and in the same space I'm going to do it again, yarn over, go in, drop a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over, go in, drop a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, and then the remaining three, just like that. Then I'm going to jump over here to the next chain two space and do a cluster V again, right in the space. Just like that. Jump to the next one, do another cluster V into the next chain space. And we're going to put one cluster V stitch in every one of these chain two spaces until we get to 
this last one till we get to the end of the row. Okay, I'm coming to the end of row three and I did my last cluster V and now what I wanna do is end it by double crocheting into the top of this chain three here. So just yarn over, go right in the top of it and double crochet. And again, you'll have nine V stitch cluster V stitches and one double crochet on each end. And that is all there is to it. You just keep repeating row or row three. So what you do is you just chain three again, counts as a double crochet, turn your work, and you jump over here to the next V stitch or the next chain two space of the next V stitch and cluster V in it. So it's real, it's really pretty easy once you get the hang of these cluster V stitches, which they're not hard either. Okay. Jump to the next one, cluster V. And actually, this will probably take you no time at all. A couple hours, maybe, if that. Make a really nice gift, too. So you just do this until the end of the row. And when you get to the end, you'll have nine cluster V stitches at the end of every row. And you'll also end it, when you get over here, with a double crochet into the top of your beginning chain three. And so just repeat row three. We wanna do that uh, till we get it quite a bit longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep working until I get, uh, I'll let you know how many rows I do. Okay, I went ahead and did a total of 42 rows. Now I have it laying out like this because I already put it on my mannequin and it's best to try it on yourself before you sew the button on. That way you know you can get it on and fiddle with it and then kind of know exactly how you want it to go. But more or less it goes like this. This collar folds in and this side, this is the side, the beginning row of single crochet right here. So it's going to go on this side and then the collar folds around and then it flips over um, about just like that. There's like a, about an inch or two that it doesn't cover. And then you just sew your button on right about there. Now I'm going to sew my button on. It's permanent, so it's not gonna, it's just gonna be made to slide over your head. And then when you, once you get it on, you'll be able to adjust the collar area. But again, I'll show you one more time. I kind of just, you kind of just lay this out. This side is a little shorter than this side. Like it's gonna, when you, you want this side to be short, a little bit shorter. And you kind of start right here get the collar folded a little bit thicker around and then when you fold this side all the way over you can see it folds over a lot longer than this one and put it here to where there's this like probably two shells or so two of these little shells hanging over just like that and then it lines up even here and then I'm just going to sew my button on right here and I'm going to use a piece of yarn and a yarn needle and I'm going to sew it on through both pieces. That way it's permanent, can't come undone and you can just slip it on over your head. So like that. One, now go ahead and get that sewed on. Okay, after you get that button sewed on, one more thing I noticed, if you want to, if you pull this up here, just put a little couple stitches hooking this piece to this piece. This, that way when you put it on, um, this piece tends to kind of tends to uh, flip down a little bit. It tries to, so I'm just going to grab the corner of it and go up and put just a couple little stitches that you can't even see just to hold that in place. I mean, it's not that big of a deal if you don't do that. I mean, you can just tuck it under, but I'm just going to put a couple stitches there, and then that won't move anymore. And if you're not comfortable doing this, just it, it tucks under easy, too. So, and so I'm going to get that stitched up, and I got my button on, and that is it. That is all there is to it. Straighten it out here.
There we go. Um, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Hope you're able to follow along okay. Please don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. And don't forget to uh, check me out on Facebook also. Um, don't forget to look at all my other tutorials too. I have hundreds of them. Um, I'll put a link to my Facebook page and to my Instagram account below. And also I'll put a link to where you can get the written pattern for this. And until next time, have a good day.